The scribbles are fun little add-ons that can completely set the mood in a video that's meant to be fun. So let's see how to enjoy using them in Adobe Premiere Pro. Alright, before we begin, keep in mind that there are two parts in creating a nice scribble effects in your video. First is creating the scribbles and drawings, and second is applying them to your footage. If you're good at drawing and you have a nice drawing tablet, you can draw your own scribbles and bring them to Premiere Pro to use. But as it is not the case for many of us, I'm actually using the scribbles pack from the Pixflow that has every cool thing I need for this effect. So I can go straight to the second part to add the scribbles to the footage I have here of some girl dancing. The scribbles are great in complementing or visualizing the movement, so what I'm gonna do here is to start from the beginning and find some dance moves that can have some scribbles with them. You can see that I've imported all the items from the scribbles pack, which can be found from the link in the description, and I can easily hover over them to see what they are. Now let's analyze her moves. Here's the first one where she puts her feet on the ground. So let's find some elements that kinda implies the hit. But first we can add this frame to spice it up. Set the blending mode to screen to avoid haze over the footage and duplicate it to make it punchier. Now to differentiate the white frame from the bright background, we can add the tint effect to them to give them some color. Maybe the same orange as her shirt. Map both of them to orange and this is how it looks. Next, we go for the hit and search for something that can match with it. Right here on the timeline and this item is somehow okay for that. So let's drag it to the timeline and match them by changing the rotation, scale and position of it. And then we need to match the timing of the animation with the hit precisely. Also trim it and increase the speed. Now I duplicate this scribble for the other foot as well. And tweak the setting for the other foot. And there is our next move where she somehow kicks something. So we need an element like exploding or breaking or something like that. Yep, this is it. Let's drag it in here and try match them properly. Also change all of their blending modes to screen. But it's too slow, so let's trim it and speed it up by pressing R on the keyboard, which is another way of changing the speed. Let's have a quick playback. I'm gonna rotate this one a bit. All right, now it looks better. The next dance move that we're going to complement with our scribbles is this hand swiping here. Okay, it's right here, a line that goes from right to left. So let's match it again. So far so good. Preview them all together. Nice, the only problem is that they're not clearly visible, so let's change their color to something dark. And keep in mind that when you have a dark item, you can't set the blending mode to screen, so I'll change them to multiply. Okay, the line is in front of a dark background, so let's get its color from her shirt and change the blending mode to screen or lighten. Now the element for the next move. This one seems okay to me, so let's bring it to the timeline. Now, in order to make it pop, we need to add a background to it. So again, we search in our complete library of drawings. And this one I think works behind that. Make it the same orange and done. 
I'll trim it to the length of the move and get a preview. Okay, there is our next dance move, but for this one, we're gonna go a little further and try to mask it behind the dancer. So, let's add a couple of elements to the scene. This one and this one will work here. Now we need to duplicate the footage to make a mask for the dancer. I'm doing a rough mask for the tutorial, but yours is better to be clean. Okay, you can see that the wing is now behind the character, but since there is no roto brush tool in Premiere Pro, we're gonna hold this frame of the video for a couple of frames to show the scribble, then continue the video. So right click on the footage layer at the exact frame and choose add frame hold. Then do the same thing for the footage beneath it to also freeze her environment. Now we need to match the scribbles to the freeze frame in terms of scale and position. Here's the right wing. And for the left wing, we need to duplicate it and use the flip effect to turn it. Reposition it as well. And now we have her wings behind her, which kind of makes it look better. I'll duplicate the circlet to make it more visible. And now I trim these layers to only have them for a few frames. Let's see what we have. It's nice, but it's too long, so I'll cut it to half. Okay, why is this cropped? Hmm, I should have deleted the mask layer above before the freeze. Next, let's add some colors to the elements. Also make the circlet dark to make it pop in front of the bright background. Alright, looks good. Now let's find our next move. Right here, I guess it's suitable to add something, so let's dig in into our elements again. Okay, this flame is the one. Let's try to find a good place and time for it in correspondence to the foot. And duplicate it to make it hotter. Okay, not bad. Let's keep them. And now for the last move, let's freeze the frame again. Duplicate the footage and make a mask around the character like before. Again, I'm doing a very rough mask here, but it looks far more interesting if you take your time while doing so to have better results. Now that we have our mask, let's find our background element. This time I want to go with a messy one, like a wall filled with graffiti. Let's try them one by one. Nice leading lines, but not messy enough. Not this one. And this one is what I love to use. And you can see that masking it behind her made them blend perfectly. Now all I need to do is to change the color in order to make the text more visible. Maybe black? No. Orange? Yes. And done. Let's see the result of our hard work. Not bad. Now it's time for you to try these little fun scribbles on your shots. So make sure to check out this scribbles pack from the link in the description and make us proud of what you make with it. Good luck!